Hello and welcome to Sue's Thoughtful Thursdays and I'm afraid it was a little bit late this week but I'd like to read you a quote from uh, Experiencing Father's Embrace by Jack Frost. It said Jesus was the man he was because of the father he had and I am the person I am because of the image of the father God I have. You'd think well I don't understand that well how we perceive God actually has a direct effect on how we live, how we treat ourselves and see ourselves, how we treat others and see others, how we interact, how we love, how we receive love, how we forget. It actually changes everything. How we see, how we perceive God changes everything in our lives. Let me read you. In John 5 verse 19, it says, So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of his own accord, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, that the Son does likewise. Whatever the Father does, the Son does likewise. There's another... Um, I think Jesus says it quite a few times, I only do what I see my Father doing. I wonder if that's the same for us, that we only do what we receive or we can receive from the Father. If we see Father God as a punisher, as um, waiting to catch us out, waiting to punish us for our sin, waiting, watching, eagle-eyed, making sure we're obeying all his laws, then that will be how we live. We will be judgmental, critical, probably unforgiving, probably um, have this real, in, you know, fight for justice, has to be right. If they've done something wrong, um, it would be very difficult to forgive because you would need to see validation for the other person and they need to be punished. But just imagine if we see God as this incredible loving Father, this outrageous, this outrageous grace-filled person that if he sees sin in our lives, he rushes in with grace and mercy that his whole aim is to have a connection with us, not to correct us. Wouldn't that change everything? Wouldn't that change how we need to live? Wouldn't that change how we would need to react to other people? Because I don't need you to come lower, so I'm raised because my God, my God is for me. He loves me, he validates me. I've said it before. But you will live according to the how you perceive your father. So today I want to tell you that he's a loving, gracious, grace-filled, mercy-laden father who is ready to embrace you, to love you, to forgive you, to champion you, to validate you. That's who he is. If you can start to change the way you perceive God it will change the way you live and how others perceive you. You're welcome.